Hi guys, welcome to the vlog today. I'm going to be doing a follow me around day in my life as a teacher. For those who may not know, I am a fourth grade teacher in New York City. So right now, when I get into my classroom, I set my things down and I set up my morning slides. Basically, it just has the do now, which is to read and bookshop. I have a 10 minute timer and a video with relaxing yoga music in the background. After, I'm going to fix these napkins that were placed on my table, and then I'm going to set up my sticker reward. So I've been giving stickers out like hotcakes, so I wanted to refill my sticker charts. I just decided to go for the bottom sticker chart only because it's a little bit too tall at the top, and the one at the top will eventually become the pencil parking lot. But our students are doing a great job at being very responsible and keeping their pencils where they need to be. Also, check out that those butterflies, those are for our Hispanic Heritage Month activity, which I will leave a link down below. It is amazing and it's all about the book Dreamers and how everyone's a dreamer and it's so beautiful and it's a great way to show students that everyone goes through different things in life and you should still be supportive and compassionate to others. Lastly, I like to turn on the lights. I have some lights at the top here, and I love it. Good morning, guys. We're gonna talk and unpack. Oh my lord. Okay, we're gonna talk and unpack. Good morning, everyone. So I have my backpack here. I take out a bunch of things in the morning. So I have my planner. I have my laptop, which I'm gonna show you guys the case. So pretty. And then I have my file folder with everything that I need to do slash print. And a pen, of course. So I'm gonna usually put my backpack on the back of my chair. So it makes it easier for me to like grab and go. All right, the good thing is I have a printer in my classroom, which is like right here. So I already put things in the queue to print, so that should be printing, so it might be a little loud. There it is. Right. All right, so this morning, what are we doing? I've been getting in the habit of like writing down everything that I'm doing. So today we're going to, today's Wednesday, September 28th. We're going to go over cursive R. We're going to do the upper spelling inventory, which students spell and then you grade it and then it puts them into a certain group and we make gr groups groups based on like within wordpad or whatever the category they fall under which is really awesome and a great way to use data um today we're going to do short responses which i think i have to link on the slides we're going to read the one and only ivan which is the book of the month um we are going to for writing we're going to talk about developing a character practicing writing but nothing too extreme yet for a visionary hour which is our social studies slash science we're going to be introducing the unit um, for close reading or shared reading we're going to be reading flora and ulysses and for math we're going to be going over the multiplication facts and things like that so i like to put a star next to and i'll share a picture with you guys on um, a star next to things that need copies so i have the spelling inventory copies which are great and i like to put them in my file folder here my multiplication fact progress today because we're like now up to like five digits and they should keep track of things on their own so this one's from teachers for teachers and the students just fill in what they mastered and what they need to study so that's good and then what else do i have in here this i'm gonna go throw out Okay, so everything else in here is pretty good. Just like one Okay, perfect. So I just have to throw this out. All right, so that is pretty much what our day looks like today. I already prepped the slides and then, oh, I want to show you guys something. So over the weekend, I did some shopping and there was a lot of fall stuff out here. So I'll show you what I brought. So I have a yogurt, which I put in my mini fridge. mini cooler mm. 
and then I have I brought this blush Totoro to keep in my area I also brought this little card that reminded me of the fall and a little pumpkin and I have an apple I also have a nail polish that I brought by accident um, all right, and then I have my lunch so let's put these up and let's see what it looks like Here I'm setting up my cute little fall decoration serotonin corner, which will literally mean my day. And then I realized that I was actually covering some of it, but it looks so cute. And I will insert a picture here. Okay, next I have to cut this poster out. Let's see. Kids are coming in in about 10 minutes. So right here, I was actually cutting the poster. And this poster I made on Canva, and there was a day where teachers got to make free posters. This one says, mistakes help us grow. I make mistakes every day, and I like to tell the students that it's okay we make mistakes, and it's really important for us to grow from them so that we, we can become better people. And I really, truly believe that. And this poster rocks. So I just put up the folder. It's a little bit lower, but it's okay. I mean, I should say poster. <laughs> It's a little bit lower, but that is okay. Okay, so I'm ready. The kids are coming in in about five minutes. So all I need to do is, in those next five minutes, kind of throw some of these things, um, cut this, throw some of the things away. Actually, though, I should print out the success card here. How about that? <laughs> all right, actually, let me do that. Because cutting, I can do that while they're packing up. guys so it is lunchtime so one thing that i didn't mention earlier today is that my schedule is pretty crazy because i teach all my subjects from 8 a.m to 12 20 and then i have lunch till one after lunch i have specials or preps that's what we call them here in new york but i know some other states call them specials so they have gym today and then they go home so you know i pick them up we get our stuff dismiss them do our question of the night and then they go home so i have to teach all my subjects in a row which is very exhausting but it's kind of fun too because i have to be very very um conscious of the time so for word study they did the spelling inventory and they really tried their best they, they're very hard words that they have to write so i'm gonna grade that i don't know if i'm gonna do that today but i'll probably grade it on later um for reading they wrote short responses so let me show you guys what that this looks like they're each pod i call them each table we have five of them um actually got a chance to write their own short response i helped them with the first three um, sentences and they did the next two sentences as a team as a pod so we started with the um, thesis and restating the question the purple are the transitional phrases black are the text evidence with citations and the orange is the their analysis like they're proving why that makes sense based on their thesis so they did a really good job and i kind of motivated them by giving them a sticker because i was very impressed and really excited to write short responses with them because they were able to pick it up really really quickly for interactive read aloud we read the one and only ivan and then we also for writing we talked about characters and using synonyms instead of saying he said or she said and they did really well with that writing is definitely a little bit of a trigger for them but i've found a way to make it fun and interactive and they really like it for our social studies or we call it here visionary hour i introduced the unit which is the geography of new york and it's i got this tapestry i was inspired and influenced by elementary in the mitten on youtube and I've got this on actually Amazon and it is their New York State tapestry version and it's so awesome. New York, really fun. And it shows them like where New York is compared to like the US and all the different parts. And they had a lot of fun just looking at this map and figuring it out. And okay, then after um, kind of introducing them to geography of new york and just kind of what it looks like very surface level they we read me on the map which is like an iconic 
book and and then they drew a map of their their rooms because um on the map or on in that text it goes from like the world to the u.s to her state which is kansas to her city her town her house her room her street things like that so i wanted them to kind of make that connection like we are living in new york which a lot of them didn't even know like it was like the difference between a new york state and city um which i expected and it was really nice seeing their rooms and things like that then we quickly moved on to math and they were just practicing their facts and multiplication facts which has been such a success this year and if you guys want me to talk about the process of multiplication fact masters let me know um, then we started reading flora and ulysses which is a really exciting book it's very short i only have an excerpt like the first two chapters um in in the program that we're using which is called intro reading and i just use it for the text because that's going to be a really good one for students to use to talk about the plot because it's a fantasy um genre and then we packed up and then we went um you know we went to lunch one thing that was so funny though i wanted to get the vans collaboration with lisa says ga so in the middle of my list i was like guys i need to make this purchase like please be nice please be quiet and they were like miss vega it's time go get it and i was able to go on the website and get some really awesome new vans from one of my favorite brands so they were 90 bucks which i was expecting them to be like 80 but i was happy that they weren't over 100 or anything like that so i got those and they were like cheering for me which is really funny if i can put a picture in here i will and um now i'm eating my lunch my sister made me some korean noodles so delicious by the way i have my emotional support water bottle and i'm just looking ahead at tomorrow to see what i need to prep so tomorrow we're learning cursive oh, we didn't do the cursive letter of the day dang it um tomorrow we're learning cursive letter s set so what I'm going to do now is actually begin grading the upper spelling inventory. And this, by the way, the multiplication fact progress is really fun. They had a lot of fun, like just figuring out what it said, you know, like what they were masters at and what they weren't masters at. So I'm actually going to start grading the spelling inventory and I will see you guys later. Hi guys, I just got home. I made, well, I opened up my yuzu red shiso and apple moshi drink and I got myself some chips and I'm going to watch some TV. I do have some grading to do, which I don't want to do at home and I'm trying to set healthy boundaries, so I'm not going to do any of that. But I do have to do one thing for work, which is tomorrow we have an assessment that I have to set up for and then I'll do grading during their assessment, if that makes sense. All right, so I will be closing off my vlog here today. I hope this was some exciting to you, somewhat exciting, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.